Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're so happy to have you here. Uh, the purpose of our putting this together is to pay tribute to uh, the late, great Jim Hall, guitarist extraordinaire, arranger, composer. And, uh, you know, he, he had a good sense of humor, too. This song we just played, he thought that would be, be careful. Said, but that's as far as he ever got with the lyrics. <laughs> and then he got thinking, you know, what about if you tried to put lyrics to, to Beethoven's fit, you know? He thought maybe that could be, don't make me laugh. <laughs> so Jim, among other things, had a good sense of humor. And this song, Careful, that we just uh, played, I think it was first recorded way back when, maybe in the late 50s or something, but he, he played it at his own trios, and he played it with Jimmy Jufri, he played it with Gary Burton, with George Shearing, with Gil Goldstein, and others. And so we had a good time playing Careful for you. I hope you enjoyed it as we did. Well, this next song that we're going to play, I think will be familiar to you, but in order to learn more about it and to tell you about it, Mr. Bill Fuzzell is going to tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Every set he does this to me. <laughs> <laughs> and each time I'm stunned. I should have known it was coming. <laughs> well, this is a... Like much of the music here, I was... Dale showed me that the first time I heard some of these tunes was... Dale showed them to me. I think this was one of those, All the Things You Are. And It's by Jerome Kern. It's, it's an awesome song. One thing Jim did, though, I had the chance to play it with him, and I don't think I've heard too many people play it in 3-4. Have you? Except Jim. Yeah, I mean, that was the first time I played it with him. He said, let's play all the things you are. And, okay, yeah, I know that. And he started playing it in three, and I was like, what's going on with this? <laughs> so that's what we're about to play now. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
about self-expression and improvising. <clears throat> uh, he said a musician finds a way to exp uh, by, by improvising, a musician finds uh, who he is, what, what you are, as Jim put it. He says, just knowing music and, and how it works gives you inside rewards, a feeling for the balance of things, an appreciation of the hard work of others, and empathy because music is hard. Music is also a powerful way of influencing people, convincing them, getting a feeling or an attitude across to others, and immersing them in it for a while. Isn't that nice? Those are Jim's thoughts about self-expression. And so we're going to self-express here on the
talk about self-expression. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, all these talented musicians up here. Um, I just have to tighten my parachute just to make sure I can hang on. <laughs> well, last night I asked Mark Patterson if he would introduce this next song, and I'll see if he'll do it again for me. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, this is dedicated to uh, those of us who have spent a lot of time studying with Dale. Thanks for the memory.
one of the reasons that we wanted to do that tune in that fashion came from a comment from Jim Hall. He said, if playing rhythm, and that's what I was trying to do, you know, just play some rhythm guitar, if playing rhythm ever <coughs> becomes a lost art, a lot of the fun with, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, if, well, let me start again here, a lot of the fun will have gone out of being a guitarist if they stop playing rhythm. This is playing four quarter notes to a bar in a good rhythm section is truly a lovely way to spend an evening. <laughs> and probably the closest thing to dancing with a good dance partner. It's like jogging on a beautiful beach or swimming in a warm pool. It gets rid of frown lines, <laughs> Jamal. <laughs> Well, a song that has been recorded many, many times by a lot of different musicians, jazz musicians and beyond, but it's still one of the very choicest of jazz ballads written by Johnny Green entitled Body and Soul. And uh, I was sharing with the audience last night, again, a comment from Jim. <clears throat> again, it was that same time when we were being interviewed, I was doing the duo, and the um, person said, Jim, don't you get tired of playing Body and Soul? You know, it's been around so long, so many people play it. And he said, no, not at all. He said, it's kind of like a rare diamond. Where if you take the diamond and you and you turn it slowly, you get by a different reflection and refraction of light. You know, you see these different facets of the diamond. And he says, that's the way I view body and soul. He says, every time I play it, I'm looking for some different facet than before. But he says, it's because it's such a beautiful, timeless music kind of tune. And so uh, because he felt that way about it, and we certainly feel that way about it, we were going to do Body and Soul, but this time, speaking of different facets, we're going to feature Mr. Bill Frizzo. Thank you. 
Well, we've certainly enjoyed this weekend uh, and being able to pay tribute to the wonderful <coughs> Jim Hall. Um, he, uh, last night we were uh, sharing with the audience the fact that some critics say that he never did make a bad record. And, uh, I can, maybe I like some more than others, but uh, I never remember him making quote, bad, and some of the records that he did make, like what we did in the first set uh, that has the adagio from, from the Concerto de Ranjuez, you know, the Concerto album, and then another one like with Sonny Rollins, the bridge, you know, people talked about that and so on, and then those duo albums with Bill Evans, just guitar and piano, and it was at a time when those things weren't even going on very much, like Bill mentioned that. So we just have nothing but <coughs> warm thoughts about uh, Jim. And so speaking of that concerto album, there was another tune on that that uh, he really enjoyed playing. And I know we're going to enjoy playing it. <laughs> but it's, again, from that very memorable album. And again, to repeat, critic, some, some critics say that was his very best album. No arguments from us, but we're going to do, you'd be so nice to come home to Cole Porter composition.
kind attention and appreciation for the music and especially uh, the occasion of paying tribute to Jim Hall, our friend and inspiration in many ways. <clears throat> but certainly, again, uh, thank yous are in order. We want to thank uh, the Dazzle staff here, beginning with uh, Mr. Kevin Lee. And then Donald Ross himself, owner and operator of uh, Dazzle. And but then, uh, I personally want to thank Mr. Jerry Cusack because he's behind the camera. And uh, <clears throat> as to what he's going to do with those, you can ask Jerry. <laughs> but then, uh, I want to go your attention to my esteemed business partner, Ms. Jude Hibbler, as we were saying in the first set. There's a lot of things that go on uh, to prepare for doing something like this, you know, travel and coordinating everybody's schedules and trying to get a little rehearsal in and on and on. And she does such a marvelous job and she's a wonderful researcher. Uh, she has some excellent information herself about Jim Hall that uh, may appear on the liner notes of this CD that we're doing. But uh, as I was saying in the first set, she's a busy lady and even in her spare time, she writes books, she's a novelist. So I don't know how she does it, but I sure appreciate her and I think I speak for all the guys. Stand up please, Ms. June Hibbler. Speaking of thanks, my goodness, I'm thanking Mr. Mark Simon. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Paul Lindemann, Mr. Mark Patterson from New York. Mr. Ron Miles. And our special guest. Mr. Bill Frizzell. <laughs> well, we thought it might be appropriate to do, because we're so appreciative of all that Jim has given us as far as wonderful musical memories, is to go back, remember a little bit ago, Ron and Mark Patterson and I played a little thanks for the memory. We're going to do that, just a, one course of that, and that's our way of closing our tribute to Jim Hall. Here's thanks.
driving home and very careful because some of us are walking. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, somebody wants to take a picture?